What are your top nutrients for mitochondrial health? Well, I, I'm a big fan of flavonoids. Um, flavonoids are plant pigments. And uh, these, these plant pigments are about 8,000 different uh, uh, flavonoids, and they have slightly different effects. But as a class of compounds, they're, they're noted for their, their, bio, their uh, biological response uh, modifying effects. And what this means is they modify uh, our response to the environment. Uh, this is noted by their anti-inflammatory, antiviral, anti-cancer, antioxidant, and anti-aging effects. So, you know, it starts with diet, eating a high flavonoid-rich diet, you know, uh, berries, greens, uh, legumes. So red kidney beans have more flavonoids than blueberries per serve. Wow. So uh, it's not just the berries and everybody yeah. can, can af uh, afford uh, some, some red kidney, kidney beans in their diet. Uh, and then, uh, you know, citrus and a lot of the medicinal herbs are rich in, in flavonoids. Uh, so I, I like flavonoid rich extracts. Uh, I like all the uh, kind of the cellular uh, energizers. So things like, you know, coenzyme Q10, PQQ, yeah. carnitine, uh, alpha lipoic acid, pantothene. Those are really important for, for mitochondrial function. I, I particularly love PQQ. PQQ hmm. stands for uh, pyroquinoline quinone. And It'll eventually be recognized as a vitamin. It wasn't discovered uh, as a, essential to human nutrition or mammalian nutrition until 1984. But now we know that it is absolutely critical to mitochondrial function and mitochondrial genesis, the formation of new right. mitochondria. And it works very well in combination with with vitamin, uh, well, I should say with, with CoQ10. Right. So uh, I, I like it. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I could geek out and talk about, uh, some, some other, uh, anti-aging nutrients, but I really, for, for mitochondrial enhancement, uh, my go-to combination would be CoQ10 and PQQ. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What are your 200, 200 milligrams of the ubiquinol form yeah. for CoQ10 and 20 milligrams per day of PQQ. Uh, this this is a, a really effective uh, combination. They, they've done animal studies and human studies. And one of the things they noted in the human study was a, a kind of an immediate effect on improving mental function. And uh, when we're looking at improving mental function, it's, it's a very hard parameter to measure and show benefit in a short period of time. Uh, usually it takes months, right. maybe six months or a year to see improvements in some of these mental function tests, but within four weeks of taking that dosage of PQQ and Co CoQ10, they showed improvements, and in eight weeks, the improvements were even more mm. noticeable. So uh, I like it because, it, you know, if you can help people uh, see yeah. the improvement, it, it really helps them uh, understand the value of these nutrients. A lot of the things we recommend people can't uh, right. can't feel. I mean, vitamin C has been shown to be dramatic in its ability to, to reduce cataract formation. Uh, lutein has been shown to be helpful against macular degeneration. But when you're 40 years old and you're, you're uh, bolstering yeah. your vitamin C and, and uh, lutein stores, you, you're not going to feel uh, right. or see any, any benefit there, but you are doing good. And that's what people have to have faith with. Yeah. What is, what is the mechanism for PQQ? How is it, is it synergizing with the CoQ10? Is it um, together they're, they're increasing the cellular energy produced by the mitochondria? Yeah, it's really interesting. So um, I think that is, PQQ is an interesting compound. It's, it's found in intergalactic dust mm. and it may be the spark of life because it's critical to mitochondrial function. It, 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 it just like CoQ10 is, but yeah, you know, people are familiar with CoQ10, but maybe they haven't heard of, of PQQ. So it's necessary for the production of energy. And so without it uh, or without sufficient uh, stores, you're, you're going to be low energy. But listen to this. So every time uh, an antioxidant acts as an antioxidant, that's called a catalytic cycle. So mm -hmm. some antioxidants are very cheap, meaning that uh, they only work for uh, a couple of cycles, like, you know, vitamin C only works for two to four catalytic cycles. So it's not very efficient. PQQ, it, 
it works uh, over four through over forty thousand catalytic cycles. Now, uh, wow. what is our cellular energy? It's our ATP stores, and uh, you know our body makes about a hundred. I think it's one hundred and fifty pounds of of uh, ATP a day, some huge amount, you know, and uh, it gets utilized as energy. Um, so uh, think about all, it's like a little mini nuclear reactor going on in, in our mitochondria. And uh, in that process, there are a lot of free radicals or pro-oxidants being spun off. So PQQ, it's, it's like the most valuable uh, mitochondrial antioxidant because it can be used over and over again. And the cells really hold on to it because it's so valuable. So I think, I think it's twofold. One, it's involved in energy production. And two, it's critical for protecting the mitochondria. And we've, we've talked about how uh, mitochondrial function is really key to uh, yeah. having cellular energy, protecting ourselves from damage, and uh, living longer.